Good morning students i hope all of you are doing fine so beta we were doing the revision of the chapter active and passive voice and we would be continuing with the same okay we have discussed what is active and passive voice topic active and passive voice okay so we have uh, discussed what is the active and passive voice and uh, what uh, how we form sentences we were uh, doing some of the rules okay we have discussed uh, till rule number 2 we have to continue with rule number 3 what is third rule uh, rule that in passive sentence when we are making passive sentence passive voice sentence the subject is what the subject is omitted your skipped means kya ki kafi bar jab aap passive voice ka sentence banate ho so subject jo rehta hai usko aap omit kar sakte ho usko skip kar sakte ho usko remove kar sakte ho theek hai uski requirement nahi hoti kai bar sentence bina subject ke passive voice mein ban jata hai for example milk is sold in liters milk is sold in liters is it correct okay please take down the screenshot of for this rule Okay now let's move on to the fourth rule What is being said change the base verb in the active sentence into past participle that is third form verb in passive voice okay is preceded by by with to base verbs are never used in passive voice so base verb is never used in passive voice another one we have to change the base verb into past participle that is what third form of verb third form third form verb okay base verb is never used in passive voice we change the base verb into past participle that is third form of verb write it down please take down the screenshot
Please take down the screenshot. Okay. Now some of the examples of this. active mein if a sentence is said she prepares dinner okay verb is prepares she is subject dinner is object so when you are making when you are changing the sentence into passive voice what would the sentence would become dinner is prepared by her dinner is prepared by her so by is what by is past participle verb is preceded by third form of the verb is it clear another sentence active she knows him knows is a verb so passive would become he is known by her third form of the, third form of the verb he is known by her please take down the screenshot all of you please take down the screenshot i think the this concept is clear to all of you this concept of verb and uh, base verb being changed into third form of the verb please take down the screenshot Okay, I am wrapping it off now. Let's move on to the another concept. Rule number five. When we are doing the conversion of active voice into passive voice when we are doing the conversion of active voice into passive voice uh, the pronoun used in the sentence also changes the pronoun used in the sentence also changes is it clear like in active
active voice pronoun and passive voice pronoun. So I is changed into me. V is changed into us. Please take down the screenshot. Please take down the screenshot, all of you. I'm rubbing it off. So, active voice pronoun and passive voice. now okay I is changed into me V is changed into us he is changed into him she is changed into her okay we were doing the sentence so we have she knows him so for uh, when we change this sentence into passive voice wh uh, what did it become he him ka kya ho gaya him ka kya ho gaya he he is known by her she ka kya ho gaya her theek hai isi tarike se dono interchange hote hain they ka they ka kya hoga they ka hoga them यू का यू ही रहेगा इट का इट ही रहेगा ठीक है पहले इतना स्क्रीनशॉट लो यार को उनको मैं नेक्स्ट के लिए कर दूंगी प्लीज टेक डाउन द स्क्रीनशॉट प्लीज टेक डाउन द स्क्रीनशॉट ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज टेक डाउन द स्क्रीनशॉट Okay, I'm rubbing it off now. अब क्या दे का हो गया them, you का हो गया you, it का हो गया it. Is it clear? Please take down the screenshot. Please take down the screenshot. Okay, now I'm rubbing it off. Uh, let's move on to another rule i think this one is the last rule the rule is use the suitable helping verb or auxiliary verb use the suitable helping or auxiliary verb that is is am are was were etc the rules for using auxiliary verb in passive voice sentence are different in each tense okay 
so we sixth rule is that we have to use suitable helping so use uh, suitable helping verbs in passive voice okay when you are converting the sentence you use uh, suitable helping or auxiliary verb and that uh, suitable helping verb depends in uh, depends on different types of sentences uh, sorry different type of tenses theek hai ek example dekh lo the letter the letter is written by her ठीक है तो ये आपका हेल्पिंग वर्ब हो गया द लेटर इज रिटन बाय हर तो यहाँ पे इज आएगा या आर आएगा या वॉज आएगा ये टेंस पे डिपेंड कर रहा है ना जैसे अ बुक वॉज नॉट ब्रॉट बाय हर A book was not bought by her. Helping verb was. ठीक है Please take down the screenshot. Please take down the screenshot, students. Okay, I'm wrapping it off now. so now our uh, another heading would be forms of active and passive voice for all tenses theek hai humne rule sare pad liye forms of active and active and passive voice for all tenses is it clear now first one is as always simple present tense simple present tense we have already discussed about simple present tense that we use simple present tense to make generalization uh, facts habits universal truth okay in sari cheezon ko humne bataya tha na ki hum kyun use karte hain so <coughs> iske liye kya hota hai ki we verb ki first form <coughs> s ya es add hota hai ki nahi ye bataya tha maine so if the sentence is i write a novel i write a novel so it would become a novel is written by me dekho pronoun change bhi aapne dekh liya theek hai active voice ka uh, passive voice mein aap pronoun change bhi dekh liye फिर आप कैसे किस वर्ब को किस हेल्पिंग वर्ब को यूज़ कर रहे हो वो भी आपने देख लिया कौन सा मेन वर्ब है वो भी देख लिया आपने अब ये क्या है सब्जेक्ट प्लस ऑक्जिलरी वर्ब 
plus past participle of the main verb plus by plus object ठीक है ये third form ही तो है third form of verb is it clear okay students so <coughs> sorry for my voice <coughs> so we would be continuing this uh, video this chapter in the next video till then bye bye take care